Hawaii CDL air brakes test. Question 1. During normal driving, spring brakes are usually held back by air pressure, springs, bolts and braces. Answer. Air pressure. Question 2. You should know that your brakes are fading when you have to press the brake pedal harder to control speed on a downgrade. The brake feels spongy when pressure is applied. Pressure on the brake pedal is released and speed increases. Answer You have to press the brake pedal harder to control speed on a downgrade. Question 3. If you do not have automatic tank drains, how often should you drain the oil and water from the bottom of compressed air storage tanks? Once a week. At the end of each day of driving. After every four hours of service. Answer. At the end of each day of driving. Question 4. Oil and water usually collect in compressed air tanks. If you do not have an automatic tank drain, when should you drain the air tanks? After every four hours of service. After every working day. Once a week. Answer. After every working day. Question 5. The brake system that applies and releases the brakes when the driver uses the brake pedal is the brake system. Service. Emergency. Parking. Answer. Service. Question 6. The safety valve is set to automatically reduce pressure at Psi 50 150 100 Answer 150 Question 7 if air pressure is not built up fast enough within the correct amount of time. Your air pressure may drop too low during driving. The alcohol container may be low. You should be ready to use your parking brakes to stop. Answer Your air pressure may drop too low during driving. Question 8. If oil and water collects in the air tanks, what can happen to the brakes? The brakes could fail. The brakes could heat up. The brakes could lock up. Answer. The brakes could fail. Question 9. The application pressure gauge shows how much pressure you have. When you are applying to the brakes. In a modulating control valve. In the tanks. Answer. When you are applying to the brakes. Question 10. For air brake systems in good condition, the air compressor should start pumping at about Psi 125 150 100 Answer 
One hundred. Question eleven. The modulating control valve allows you to control the amount of pressure in the brake system, front brakes, spring brakes. Answer. Spring brakes. Question 12. If you must make an emergency stop, brakes so you can steer and your vehicle stays in a straight line. Use the hand brake before the brake pedal. Use the full power of the brakes to lock them. Answer. Can steer and your vehicle stays in a straight line. Question 13. If your vehicle has an alcohol evaporator, every day during cold weather you should Check and fill the alcohol level. Change the alcohol from a new bottle. Check the oil for alcohol content. Answer. Check and fill the alcohol level. Question 14. The stoplight switch tells you when the air brake system is low on air pressure. Tells you when you need to use your emergency brakes. Turns on the brake lights to warn drivers behind you. Answer. Turns on the brake lights to warn drivers behind you. Question 15. Air braking takes more time than hydraulic braking because air brakes require heavier return springs. Air brakes use different brake drums. Takes more time to flow through the lines than hydraulic fluid. Answer. Takes more time to flow through the lines than hydraulic fluid. Question 16. If you must make an emergency stop, brakes so you can steer and your vehicle stays in a straight line. Use the full power of the brakes to lock them. Use the hand brake before the brake pedal. Answer. Can steer and your vehicle stays in a straight line. Question 17. How can you test the low pressure warning signal? Shut off the engine and see if the air pressure leaks down. Shut off the engine with enough air pressure, turn on the electrical power and step on and off the brake pedal until the low air pressure warning signal comes on. While the engine is running, step on and off the brake pedal. Answer. Shut off the engine with enough air pressure, turn on the electrical power and step on and off the brake pedal until the low air pressure warning signal comes on. Question 18. With air brake vehicles, the parking brakes should be used whenever you leave the vehicle unattended. As little as possible. Only during pre-trip and post-trip inspections. Answer. Whenever you leave the vehicle unattended. Question 19. If your bus or truck has dual parking control valves, you can use pressure from a separate tank to Release the spring emergency parking brakes to move a short distance. Balance the service brake system when you are parked. Stay parked twice as long without using up service air pressure. 
Answer. Release the spring emergency. Parking brakes to move a short distance. Question 20. What is another name for controlled braking? Hard braking. Squeeze braking. Steady braking. Answer. Squeeze braking. Question 21. It is accepted that too much heat caused by using your brakes too often can also cause Brake linings to split up Brake fade or failure Modulated control valve to wear out Answer Brake fade or failure Question 22. Before driving a truck or bus with the dual air brake system, the pressure in each air brake system should be at least. Sigh. 80. 120. 100. Answer. 100. Question 23. The application pressure gauge shows how much pressure you have. In a modulating control valve. In the tanks. When you are applying to the brakes. Answer. When you are applying to the brakes. Question 24. The brake pedal in an air brake system. Control the speed of the air compressor. Is connected to slack adjusters by a series of rods and linkages. Controls the air pressure applied to put on the brakes. Answer. Controls the air pressure applied to put on the brakes. Question 25. When is it okay to leave your truck unattended without applying parking brakes or chalking the wheels? Never. If you are conducting your pre-trip inspection. If you will only be away from the truck for a few minutes. Answer. Never. Question 26. If your truck or bus has dual parking control valves, you can use pressure from a separate tank to Stay parked twice as long without using up service air pressure. Balance the service brake system when you are parked. Release the spring emergency. Parking brakes to move a short distance. Answer. Release the spring emergency. Parking brakes to move a short distance. Question 27. An air brake system is fully charged at what size? 150. 75. 125. Answer. 125 Question 28 The emergency brake system Uses the service brake to stop the vehicle in the event of a brake system failure Uses parts of the service and parking brake system to stop the vehicle in the event of a brake system failure Uses the parking brake to stop the vehicle in the event of a brake system failure. Answer Uses parts of the service and parking brake system to stop the vehicle in the event of a brake system failure. 
Question 29. Oil and water usually collect in compressed air tanks. If you do not have an automatic tank drain, when should you drain the air tanks? Once a week. After every four hours of service. After every working day. Answer. After every working day. Question 30. Your bus or truck has a dual air brake system. If a low air pressure warning comes on for only one system, what should you do? Reduce your speed and drive to the nearest garage for repairs. Reduce your speed and test the remaining system while driving. Stop and safely park. Continue only after the system is fixed. Answer Stop and safely park. Continue only after the system is fixed. Question 31. What do air brakes use to make the brakes work? Compressed gas. Compressed hair. Compressed oil. Answer. Compressed hair. Question 32. A slack adjuster's free plane needs to be adjusted if it is more than how many inches when you pull hard on it? One half inch. One fourth inch. One inch. Answer. One inch. Question 33. The use of air brakes on a down grid is only a supplement to the Use of the front brake limiting valve Use of the spring brakes Braking effect of the engine Answer Braking effect of the engine Question 34. To make an emergency stop with air brakes, using the stab braking method, you should Brake hard until the wheels lock, and then get off the brakes for as much time as the wheels were locked. Press on the brake pedal as hard as you can, release the brakes when the wheels locked, put on the brakes again when the wheels start rolling. Pump the brake pedal rapidly and lightly. Answer. Press on the brake pedal as hard as you can, release the brakes when the wheels locked, put on the brakes again when the wheels start rolling. Question 35. The most common type of foundation brake found on heavy vehicles is the Disc drum Wedge drum S-cam drum Answer. S-cam drum. Question 36. The brake pedal in an air brake system. Control the speed of the air compressor. Controls the air pressure applied to put on the brakes. Is connected to slack adjusters by a series of rods and linkages. Answer. Controls the air pressure applied to put on the brakes. Question 37. If the air compressor should develop a leak, what keeps the air in the tanks? The emergency relay valve. The tractor protection valve. The one-way check valve. Answer. The one-way check valve. Question 38. Emergency control braking is when you 
apply the brakes as hard as you can without locking the wheels. Brake as hard as you can, release the brakes when the wheels lock, and put the brakes back on again when the wheels start rolling. Apply the hand valve for one second, then push hard on the brake pedal. Answer Apply the brakes as hard as you can without locking the wheels. Question 39. Modern air brake systems are three different systems combined together. They are the service, parking, and the brakes. S cam. Foot. Emergency. Answer. Emergency. Question 40. If your truck has a properly functioning dual air brake system and minimum size air tanks, the air pressure should build from 85 to 100 pounds per square inch within seconds. 45 20 60 Answer 45 Question 41. What is another name for controlled braking? Steady braking. Hard braking. Squeeze braking. Answer. Squeeze braking. Question 42. What factors can cause brakes to fade or fail? Not taking your foot off the accelerator. Not pressing the brake pedal hard enough. Overheating, low air pressure, and not relying on the engine braking effect. Answer Overheating, low air pressure, and not relying on the engine braking effect. Question 43. To test the air service brakes you should Brake firmly while slowly moving backwards. Stop the vehicle, put it in low gear, depress the service brake, and then gently pull against the brakes. Brake firmly while slowly moving forward. Answer Brake firmly while slowly moving forward. Question 44. The air loss rate for a straight truck or bus with the engine off and the brakes on should not be more than 3 pounds per square inch in 1 minute. 1 pound per square inch in 1 minute. 2 pounds per square inch in 45 seconds. Answer 3 pounds per square inch in 1 minute Question 45 The use of air brakes on a down grid is only a supplement to the Braking effect of the engine Use of the front brake limiting valve Use of the spring brakes Answer Braking effect of the engine Question 46. The service brake applies and releases In the event of an emergency The brake when you use the brake pedal during normal driving The parking brake when you use the parking brake control Answer The brake when you use the brake pedal during normal driving. Question 47 If the spring brakes are on, when should you push the brake pedal? Never.
only when driving downhill, only on the slippery road. Answer. Never. Question 48. The emergency brake system uses the parking brake to stop the vehicle in the event of a brake system failure. Uses parts of the service and parking brake system to stop the vehicle in the event of a brake system failure. Uses the service brake to stop the vehicle in the event of a brake system failure. Answer Uses parts of the service and parking brake system to stop the vehicle in the event of a brake system failure. Question 49. The safety valve is set to automatically reduce pressure at Psi 100 150 50 Answer. 150. Question 50. Which is the first thing you should do when a low air pressure warning comes on? Downshift. Stop and safely park as soon as possible. Upshift. Answer. Stop and safely park as soon as possible. Question 51. What are spring brakes? If the air brakes leak down, springs press the brakes on to stop the vehicle. Brakes used for parking. The spring on the brake metal. Answer. If the air brakes leak down, springs press the brakes on to stop the vehicle. Question 52. The air compressor stops pumping air at what side? 150 125 100 Answer. 125 Question 53 If your vehicle has an alcohol evaporator every day during cold weather you should check the oil for alcohol content change the alcohol from a new bottle check and fill the alcohol level Answer. Check and fill the alcohol level. Question 54. Converter dollies built on or after March 1, 1998 are required to have anti-lock brakes. These dollies will have A yellow malfunction lamp on the right side of the dolly. A yellow malfunction lamp in the center of the dolly. A yellow malfunction lamp on the left side of the dolly. Answer A yellow malfunction lamp on the left side of the dolly. Question 55. It is not safe to drive a vehicle that has brake drums with cracks that are longer than of the width of the friction area. 5 sixteenths 1 fourth 1 half Answer 1 half Question 56. What is the purpose of an alcohol evaporator? To reduce the risk of ice in the brake valves and other parts in cold weather. To have a drink available if you get thirsty. So you don't have to drain the air tanks as often. 
Answer. To reduce the risk of ice in the brake valves and other parts in cold weather. Question 57. How can you check the slack adjuster? Park on level ground, turn off parking brakes, pull hard on each slack adjuster. It shouldn't move more than one inch. Park on level ground, turn off parking brakes and press brake metal. Park on an incline and see if the vehicle rolls. Answer Park on level ground, turn off parking brakes, pull hard on each slack adjuster. It shouldn't move more than one inch. Question 58. If air pressure is not built up fast enough within the correct amount of time. Your air pressure may drop too low during driving. The alcohol container may be low. You should be ready to use your parking brakes to stop. Answer Your air pressure may drop too low during driving. Question 59. The S-CAM Controls the flow air to each of the brake chambers. Pulls the brake shoes away from the drum and allow the wheels to roll freely. Forces the brake shoes against the inside of the brake drum. Answer Forces the brake shoes against the inside of the brake drum. Question 60. If you do not have automatic tank drains, how often should you drain the oil and water from the bottom of compressed air storage tanks? After every four hours of service. At the end of each day of driving. Once a week. Answer. At the end of each day of driving. Question 61. What do air brakes use to make the brakes work? Compressed oil. Compressed hair. Compressed gas. Answer. Compressed hair. Question 62. The brake pedal in an air brake system. Control the speed of the air compressor. It's connected to slack adjusters by a series of rods and linkages. Controls the air pressure applied to put on the brakes. Answer Controls the air pressure applied to put on the brakes. Question 63 it is not safe to drive a vehicle that has brake drums, or discs, with cracks or that are thinner than the manufacturer's specifications, generally this will be an inch. One fourth. One half. One third. Answer. One half. Question 64. Total stopping distance for air brakes is longer than that for hydraulic brakes to 2. Distance. Reaction distance. Effective braking. Brake lag. Answer. Brake lag. Question 65. The parking brake applies and releases. In the event of an emergency. The parking brakes when you use the parking brake control. The brake pedal during normal driving. Answer. 
The parking brakes when you use the parking brake control. Question 66. When you put the brakes on by pushing down on the brake pedal. Air pressure is applied to the brake pads. The air pressure is reduced to the brake pads. Compressed air is let go out of the system. Answer Air pressure is applied to the brake pads. Question 67 Your truck has a dual air system and one of the system loses its pressure. What will happen? Either the front or back brake will not be fully operational. Brake drums will not be fully pressurized. The manual slack adjusters of the S-CAM brakes will not be set properly. Answer Either the front or back brake will not be fully operational. Question 68. An air brake system is fully charged at what size? 125 150 75 Answer 125 Question 69 your bus or truck has a dual air brake system. If a low air pressure warning comes on for only one system, what should you do? Reduce your speed and drive to the nearest garage for repairs. Reduce your speed and test the remaining system while driving. Stop and safely park. Continue only after the system is fixed. Answer Stop and safely park. Continue only after the system is fixed. Question 70. The service brake applies and releases. In the event of an emergency. The parking brake when you use the parking brake control. The brake when you use the brake pedal during normal driving. Answer. The brake when you use the brake pedal during normal driving. Question 71. In air brake vehicles, the parking brake should be used as little as possible to hold your speed when going downhill. Anytime the vehicle is parked. Answer. Anytime the vehicle is parked. Question 72. The emergency brake system uses the service brake to stop the vehicle in the event of a brake system failure. Uses parts of the service and parking brake system to stop the vehicle in the event of a brake system failure. Uses the parking brake to stop the vehicle in the event of a brake system failure. Answer Uses parts of the service and parking brake system to stop the vehicle in the event of a brake system failure. Question 73 Your bus or truck has a dual air brake system. If a low air pressure warning comes on for only one system, what should you do? Reduce your speed and test the remaining system while driving. Stop and safely park. Continue only after the system is fixed. Reduce your speed and drive to the nearest garage for repairs. Answer Stop and safely park. Continue only after the system is fixed. Question 74. 
An air brake system is fully charged at what size? 125 150 75 Answer 125 Question 75. If you do not have automatic tank drains, how often should you drain the oil and water from the bottom of compressed air storage tanks? Once a week. At the end of each day of driving. After every four hours of service. Answer. At the end of each day of driving. Question 76. What is the purpose of an alcohol evaporator? So you don't have to drain the air tanks as often. To have a drink available if you get thirsty. To reduce the risk of ice in the brake valves and other parts in cold weather. Answer. To reduce the risk of ice in the brake valves and other parts in cold weather. Question 77. The driver must be able to see a warning before pressure in the service air tanks falls below. Sigh. 60. 50. 70. 80. Answer. 60. Question 78. What is another name for controlled braking? Squeeze braking. Steady braking. Hard braking. Answer. Squeeze braking. Question 79. The S cam forces the brake shoes away from one another and presses them against the inside of the brake drum. It is called the S cam because It is shaped like the letter S. It is shaped like the letter N. It is shaped like the letter Z. Answer. It is shaped like the letter S. Question 80. It is accepted that too much heat caused by using your brakes too often can also cause Brake linings to split up Brake fade or failure Modulated control valve to wear out Answer Break fade or failure. Question 81. What do air brakes use to make the brakes work? Compressed hair. Compressed oil. Compressed gas. Answer. Compressed hair. Question 82. To correct a drive wheel braking skid, you should Increase braking, turn quickly, and counter steer. Stop braking, turn quickly, and counter steer. Increase braking. Answer. Stop braking, turn quickly, and counter steer. Question 83. The emergency brake system Uses the parking brake to stop the vehicle in the event of a brake system failure. Uses the service brake to stop the vehicle in the event of a brake system failure. Uses parts of the service and parking brake system to stop the vehicle in the event of a brake system failure. 
Answer. Uses parts of the service and parking brake system to stop the vehicle in the event of a brake system failure. Question 84. The service brake applies and releases. The parking brake when you use the parking brake control. In the event of an emergency. The brake when you use the brake pedal during normal driving. Answer. The brake when you use the brake pedal during normal driving. Question 85. You are on a steep downgrade and have reached your safe speed of 40 miles per hour. You would apply the service brakes until your speed drops to miles per hour. 35 30 25 Answer 35 Question 86. The driver must be able to see a warning before pressure in the service air tanks falls below. Sigh. 60. 80. 50. Answer. 60. Question 87. Oil and water usually collect in compressed air tanks. If you do not have an automatic tank drain, when should you drain the air tanks? After every four hours of service. Once a week. After every working day. Answer. After every working day. Question 88. The safety valve is set to automatically reduce pressure at. Sigh. 150. 150. Answer. 150. Question 89. If oil and water collects in the air tanks, what can happen to the brakes? The brakes could fail. The brakes could lock up. The brakes could heat up. Answer. The brakes could fail. Question 90. During normal driving. Spring brakes are usually held back by Springs Bolts and braces Air pressure Answer Air pressure Question 91 Air brake equipped vehicles have an air supply pressure gauge. A backup hydraulic system. An air use gauge. Answer. An air supply pressure gauge. Question 92. In ideal conditions a truck or bus with an air brake going at 55 miles per hour would require a stopping distance of how many feet? More than 300 feet. From 100 to 250 feet. Less than 100 feet. Answer. More than 300 feet. Question 93. Some air brake systems have an alcohol evaporator. What may happen if you don't keep the unit filled with alcohol? Ice may form in the air storage tanks and cause the brakes to fail. The S-cam may not rotate back when you release the brake pedal.
ice may form on the brake pads and warp them. Answer Ice may form in the air storage tanks and cause the brakes to fail. Question 94. If your bus or truck has dual parking control valves, you can use pressure from a separate tank to Stay parked twice as long without using up service air pressure. Release the spring emergency. Parking brakes to move a short distance. Balance the service brake system when you are parked. Answer Release the spring emergency. Parking brakes to move a short distance. Question 95. What is another name for controlled braking? Hard braking. Steady braking. Squeeze braking. Answer. Squeeze braking. Question 96. The use of air brakes on a down grid is only a supplement to the Use of the front brake limiting valve Braking effect of the engine Use of the spring brakes Answer Braking effect of the engine Question 97. The brake system that applies and releases the brakes when the driver uses the brake pedal is the brake system. Parking. Emergency. Service. Answer. Service. Question 98. The proper method of braking when going down a long and, or steep grades after selecting the proper gear, is to brake until your speed is about miles per hour below your safe speed, then release your brakes. 5 10 15 Answer 5 Question 99. It is not safe to drive a vehicle that has brake drums, or discs, with cracks or that are thinner than the manufacturer's specifications, generally this will be an inch. One third. One fourth. One half. Answer. One half. Question 100. When you put the brakes on by pushing down on the brake pedal. Air pressure is applied to the brake pads. Compressed air is let go out of the system. The air pressure is reduced to the brake pads. Answer. Air pressure is applied to the brake pads. Question 101. If your bus or truck has dual parking control valves, you can use pressure from a separate tank to Stay parked twice as long without using up service air pressure. Balance the service brake system when you are parked. Release the spring emergency. Parking brakes to move a short distance. Answer. Release the spring emergency. Parking brakes to move a short distance. Question 102. To test the air leakage rate you should. Turn off the engine and release the parking brake. Leave the engine running and release the parking brake. Charge the air system and leave the engine running.
Answer. Turn off the engine and release the parking brake. Question 103. The S cam forces the brake shoes away from one another and presses them against the inside of the brake drum. It is called the S cam because It is shaped like the letter N. It is shaped like the letter C. It is shaped like the letter S. Answer. It is shaped like the letter S. Question 104. Your bus or truck has a dual air brake system. If a low air pressure warning comes on for only one system, what should you do? Stop and safely park. Continue only after the system is fixed. Reduce your speed and drive to the nearest garage for repairs. Reduce your speed and test the remaining system while driving. Answer Stop and safely park. Continue only after the system is fixed. Question 105 when is it okay to leave your truck unattended without applying parking brakes or chalking the wheels? If you are conducting your pre-trip inspection. Never. If you will only be away from the truck for a few minutes. Answer. Never. Question 106. If oil and water collects in the air tanks, what can happen to the brakes? The brakes could heat up. The brakes could fail. The brakes could lock up. Answer. The brakes could fail. Question 107. Repeatedly pressing and releasing, fanning, the brake pedal may result in A buildup of brake air pressure The loss of brake air pressure No change of brake air pressure Answer The loss of brake air pressure Question 108. Oil and water usually collect in compressed air tanks. If you do not have an automatic tank drain, when should you drain the air tanks? After every four hours of service. After every working day. Once a week. Answer. After every working day. Question 109. Why drain water from the compressed air tanks? Water can freeze in cold weather and cause brake failure. The low boiling point of water reduces braking power. To keep from fouling the air compressor oil. Answer. Water can freeze in cold weather and cause brake failure. Question 110. Some air brake systems have an alcohol evaporator. What may happen if you don't keep the unit filled with alcohol? The S cam may not rotate back when you release the brake pedal. Ice may form on the brake pads and warp them. Ice may form in the air storage tanks and cause the brakes to fail. Answer. Ice may form in the air storage tanks and cause the brakes to fail. Question 111. In ideal conditions a truck or bus with an air brake going at 55 miles per hour would require a stopping distance of how many feet? 
less than 100 feet, more than 300 feet, from 100 to 250 feet. Answer. More than 300 feet. Question 112. What factors can cause brakes to fade or fail? Not taking your foot off the accelerator. Not pressing the brake pedal hard enough. Overheating, low air pressure, and not relying on the engine braking effect. Answer. Overheating, low air pressure, and not relying on the engine braking effect. Question 113. The S cam forces the brake shoes away from one another and presses them against the inside of the brake drum. It is called the S cam because it is shaped like the letter N. It is shaped like the letter S. It is shaped like the letter Z. Answer. It is shaped like the letter S. Question 114. If oil and water collects in the air tanks, what can happen to the brakes? The brakes could heat up. The brakes could fail. The brakes could lock up. Answer. The brakes could fail. Question 115. If your vehicle has an alcohol evaporator, every day during cold weather you should Check the oil for alcohol content. Check and fill the alcohol level. Change the alcohol from a new bottle. Answer. Check and fill the alcohol level. Question 116. Before driving a truck or bus with the dual air brake system, the pressure in each air brake system should be at least. Sigh. 120. 100. 80. Answer. 100. Question 117. If your truck or bus has dual parking control valves, you can use pressure from a separate tank to Release the spring emergency, parking brakes to move a short distance. Stay parked twice as long without using up service air pressure. Balance the service brake system when you are parked. Answer. Release the spring emergency, parking brakes to move a short distance. Question 118. The spring brakes used on the chambers in a straight truck will bring you to a stop when air pressure drops below. Sigh. 20 100 60 Answer 20 Question 119 If the spring brakes are on, when should you push the brake pedal? Only on the slippery road only when driving downhill. Never. Answer. Never. Question 120. Why drain water from the compressed air tanks? The low boiling point of water reduces braking power. To keep from fouling the air compressor oil. 
water can freeze in cold weather and cause brake failure. Answer Water can freeze in cold weather and cause brake failure. Question 121. The air brake lag distance at 55 miles per hour on right pavement adds about feet. 32 feet. 45 feet. 65 feet. Answer. 32 feet. Question 122. It is not safe to drive a vehicle that has brake drums with cracks that are longer than of the width of the friction area. One half. One fourth. Five sixteenths. Answer. One half. Question 123. Your bus or truck has a dual air brake system. If a low air pressure warning comes on for only one system, what should you do? Reduce your speed and test the remaining system while driving. Stop and safely park. Continue only after the system is fixed. Reduce your speed and drive to the nearest garage for repairs. Answer Stop and safely park. Continue only after the system is fixed. Question 124 If your truck has a properly functioning dual air brake system and minimum size air tanks, the air pressure should build from 85 to 100 pounds per square inch within seconds. 20 45 60 Answer 45 Question 125 The use of air brakes on a down grid is only a supplement to the Use of the front brake limiting valve Use of the spring brakes Braking effect of the engine. Answer. Braking effect of the engine. Question 126. The SCAM controls the flow air to each of the brake chambers. Forces the brake shoes against the inside of the brake drum. Pulls the brake shoes away from the drum and allow the wheels to roll freely. Answer Forces the brake shoes against the inside of the brake drum. Question 127 The parking or emergency brake on a heavy vehicle can only be held in position by something that cannot leak away, like Spring pressure, hydraulic pressure, air pressure. Answer Spring pressure. Question 128 How can you check the slack adjuster? Park on level ground, turn off parking brakes, and press brake pedal. Park on an incline and see if the vehicle rolls. Park on level ground, turn off parking brakes, pull hard on each slack adjuster. It shouldn't move more than one inch. Answer Park on level ground, turn off parking brakes, pull hard on each slack adjuster. It shouldn't move more than one inch. 
Question 129, which of these is not a proper time to apply the parking brakes? If you are going to use the parking brakes you need to make sure that they will hold the vehicle. If your brakes are very hot. To use parking brakes if you park for less than one hour. Answer. If your brakes are very hot. Question 130. The air compressor stops pumping air at what sign? 100. 125. 150. Answer. 125. Question 131. The driver must be able to see a low pressure warning which comes on before pressure in the service air tank falls below. 80 pounds per square inch. 100 pounds per square inch. 60 pounds per square inch. Answer. 60 pounds per square inch. Question 132. If the spring brakes are on, when should you push the brake pedal? Never. Only when driving downhill. Only on the slippery road. Answer. Never. Question 133. Some air brake systems have an alcohol evaporator. What may happen if you don't keep the unit filled with alcohol? Ice may form in the air storage tanks and cause the brakes to fail. The S-cam may not rotate back when you release the brake pedal. Ice may form on the brake pads and warp them. Answer Ice may form in the air storage tanks and cause the brakes to fail. Question 134. What are spring brakes? Brakes used for parking. The spring on the brake pedal. If the air brakes leak down, springs press the brakes on to stop the vehicle. Answer If the air brakes leak down, springs press the brakes on to stop the vehicle. Question 135. To check the brake slack adjusters on SCAM brakes you should park on. Park on level ground and drain off air pressure before adjusting. Stop on level ground and apply the parking brakes. Park on level ground, chalk the wheels, and release the parking brakes. Answer. Park on level ground, chalk the wheels, and release the parking brakes. Question 136. The proper method of braking when going down a long and, or steep grades after selecting the proper gear, is to brake until your speed is about miles per hour below your safe speed, then release your brakes. 10. 15. 5. Answer. 5. Question 137. In ideal conditions a truck or bus with an air brake going at 55 miles per hour would require a stopping distance of how many feet? From 100 to 250 feet. More than 300 feet. Less than 100 feet. 
Answer. More than 300 feet. Question 138. The S cam controls the flow air to each of the brake chambers. Pulls the brake shoes away from the drum and allow the wheels to roll freely. Forces the brake shoes against the inside of the brake drum. Answer Forces the brake shoes against the inside of the brake drum. Thank you for watching the video and wish you will get your driver license soon.